What we've been able to see over time is that filtering and mental health actually do go hand in hand. And, you know, this issue is definitely not just for teenagers or young adults. This is certainly something that affects, you know, teens through older adults. People are willing to pay for apps to filter their everyday photos. This has become a generation of people who are constantly taking selfies and wanting to augment what they actually look like. There's a term that's sometimes used which is called filtered to perfection. And filtered to perfection just means that we really now have a standard of perfection that we see not just in models. It used to be we used to talk about, oh, the magazines and the models, you know, those things are airbrushed. And now you just see everyday people, your neighbor, your friend, looking in certain ways. It's not just even a daily reminder, it's like an hourly reminder when you look to see how many hours people are scrolling mindlessly. And that's part of it, is this passive scrolling is bombarding your brain with, you're not enough. You are not pretty enough, skinny enough, tall enough. And whatever the messages are that, you know, maybe existed a little bit in your mind, get exacerbated by hours and hours of viewing these images. And mental health wise, what we see is an increase in thoughts of depression, even increased suicidal thoughts, increased anxiety, and lower self-esteem, and also lower satisfaction with your own body, having this poor body image. So we've actually over time really been able to see the very detrimental effects of filtering, uh, not just your photos, but really your life and who you really are for the purpose of social media. Well, there's a couple of things that we can do. Monitor your feed. Be really thoughtful about who are you following. When you look at those images, does it cause you joy or do you feel depressed, sad, bad about yourself? If that's how you consistently feel, stop following the person. That's really my first tip. The second one is to be mindful and present when you're actually scrolling. Scrolling is what it is, right? It's become this mindless act. So what happens is we're not always conscious of the negative feedback that our brains and bodies are getting. The cortisol, the stress hormone actually is running through our body when we're doing that. Be mindful of your time. I, I feel like just looking through Instagram, I'm gonna give myself 10 minutes to do that. And I'm gonna really look at the photographs. I'm not just gonna scroll really fast. That definitely, I've done that exercise with people and it really shifts things for them. And the last one is that if somebody's listening and they're really having very strong thoughts of you're not good enough, you know, you're not attractive enough, those kinds of things. Try doing what we call thought replacements. Every time you hear that negative voice in your head, really stop and replace it. For example, a common one that I hear a lot of times from women are, oh, I can't look at my that picture of myself. I see stretch marks. And then I say, well, what could be a thought replacer for that? And in many cases, they'll say, well, I have those stretch marks because I had a baby and there's nothing more than I'd want them, you know, to have that baby. And if that doesn't work and somebody's listening and they're thinking, gosh, I have these very negative thoughts and I don't think any of these tips have helped or will help, then I would actually say go seek professional treatment because um, it really has an overall very negative effect on our mental health that I think um, is quite treatable if you give it the attention.